Hi everyone, it's me, Claudia. Welcome to Cloud Dolls. The other day I was scrolling my Instagram and I saw this picture from Aimeline Tepe. I thought immediately, well, last year I made a Christmas Sailor Moon. This year I'm gonna make Chibi Moon. I'm gonna put Chibi Moon on the moon. She's one of the main characters of Sailor Moon series. She's little, pink and really cute. And for that, of course, I have to choose Draculara from Monster High. She also little, pink, and really cute. I need a clean canvas. For that, I'm gonna cut the hair really short. With my heat gun, I will make the vinyl soft so that I'll be able to take the head off without breaking. With 100% acetone, and cotton. I'm gonna take the factory makeup out and there she is, a clean canvas. I'm gonna use this amazing hair and I'm gonna reroute around the hairline. And as usual I forgot to paint the sculpt but it's never too late and I'm gonna paint him in baby rose. After dry, I'm gonna put some tacky glue inside of the head and glue all the rerouting hair and let it dry for 24 hours. After drying, I come with my mask and my mist is super clear and I give it three layers, letting dry 30 minutes between the layers and please Please don't forget your mask. I'm gonna use my watercolor pencils. I use Faber Castell, Stabilo, and Caran d'Ache soft colors and a different kind of brushes. For the soft pastels, I use Rembrandt. I will start with a brown color and slowly I will start building colors and opacity. It's really cold in Holland this time so my mister super clear is giving me a lot of troubles I really have to insist and trust the process and keep going and building layer after layer Chibiusa was born as Usagi's small lady serenity the only child of King Edmion and Neo Queen Serenity and the princess of the silver millennium for years, Shibiusa would feel as thought she didn't matter to her mother and would never be able to compare it to her. One day, Shibiusa wandered down a forbidden corridor and came across a strange door. After going through it, she met the guardian of the time, Sailor Pluto, eventually becoming good friends with her. For the eyebrows, I marked the place where I want them first with soft pastel and then I give her fine lines with watercolor pencils desperate to become a lady like her mom Chibiusa stole her mother legendary silver crystal whatever the black moon clan struck destroying the crystal palace to have her life the far inner Senshi frozen new Queen Serenity in a bed of crystal before combining their powers to form a barrier around the Crystal Palace. To save the future, Shibiusa traveled to the past by Sailor Pluto, warned not to return to the future until she can find Sailor Moon, who will be able to save her mom. With some soft pastels in the color pink, I give it some shadows to her face and contour. And layer by layer, I'm gonna build the opacity that I wanted and that I desire for her face. With my Faber Castle Black watercolor pencil, I give her fine bottom eyelashes. I use this pencil because it's the hardest one. It's able to draw really fine uh, lines and of course 
I have to give some glitter shiny. Also, I use my resin pigment metallic in white color and with my white acryl and a really fine brush I give it the highlights in the eyes. After the face is draw, I continue with the hair. I'm gonna glue directly the rest of the hair to a sculpt and then I'm gonna make two ponytails. Princess Yusagi Shibiyuza, Small Lady Serenity, is a civilian identity of sailor Shibimu. Like her mother's name, Shibiyuza's real name means rabbit on the moon. Her nickname, Shibiyuza, means little rabbit. Pink hair tied in rabbit ear shaped, otango and red eyes. All of the material that I use is in the description box below with the links attached where you can buy it. I also gonna put the link below of this Christmas Sailor Moon that I made it last year. I'm sure that you're gonna love it. Now with this uh, foam craft in white color I'm gonna draw the symbols that she have in her head. I will cut it with a scissor. And then I'm gonna glue this red rhinestone in the middle. I put everything together and then I'm gonna finish it with some pigment powder. I will attach a pen with my UV resin and I'm gonna give her also some moon earrings. For the clothes, I'm gonna draw. I cut it from a baby sock, it's uh, really soft and elastic. And for the skirt, I'm gonna use this white cotton fabric. I didn't find any fabric like Shibi Moon skirts, so I bought these fabric markers. I'm gonna try them, it's the first time, and I'm gonna paint it the bottom of the skirt in a pink, orange and yellow. And with a lot of patience, I start building the skirt. I sew it here. I also gonna attach a satin white ribbon. I sew it everything together and finish it with a snap button. In the bottom of the skirt, because I don't want you to see any stitches, I'm gonna finish it with some fabric glue. With the rest of the fabric that I painted, I'm gonna build the rest of the uniform. Now it's time for the boots. I'm gonna use some warmer thermoplastic and with my heat gun I make it warm. It's the first time I'm making boots with warbla. It's one of the things that I have to work on it, is making shoes from warbla. I'm not used to it. Normally I, they come off awful, so I use always a platform that I printed on 3D printer or I recycle some shoes from Monster High and then I customize them but we have to try it. This is doll customizing. That is what doll customizing is about it. Trying new techniques, new things, and sometimes making mistakes, sometimes it comes good. Experience is everything and you have to keep on going. And that's what I'm doing with the boots. Warbler have something really good that is, you can shape it whatever you want it, you just have to make it warm. If she gets cold and hard, you warm it again and 
you continue your work. I'm really happy with the boots. Here are the boots and I am really really happy. I know I have a lot of space to improve but for the first time I am really satisfied. I'm gonna give it two layers of white gesso because I'm gonna paint it in a, a light pink then I have to give it a lot of layers to make the opacity and if you paint it first with white gesso it's easier. In the meanwhile I will gonna paint also the two hearts that she wear in her uniform is two rhinestones but I don't have them in pink so I'm gonna paint them and I'm gonna paint them also the arms and the hands in white to pretend that are the gloves that she wear it and I protect her with the varnish glossy and now I'm gonna finish with some moons and some UV resin For the body, I'm going to sand it with my nail buffers and also with my mask and Mr. Super Clear I give it two layers and then I use the same soft pastel colors that I use on the face. And now it's time to dress her up. This doll is going to be available in my Etsy shop. If you fall in love with Chibi Moon and if you think that you can give her a sweet home for her, you can go there. There's a link in the description box below and who knows, maybe she will come part of your family this Christmas. With this pink fuchsia satin uh, ribbon, I'm going to make the bow that she wear in the front. I'm going to finish the gloves with the same uh, pink glitter ribbon in her elbows with some glue. Recycling some warbler, I'm going to make the stock. I know she's pink, the warbler, but as I told you, she is recycled. She's good to go, you just have to paint it again, so don't throw away warbler. For the heart of the stock, I'm going to use these two rhinestones, the same ones that I use in Christmas Sailor Moon. And I'm going to use also these two stars, rhinestones. I'm going to paint it with the original colors of red, pink and gold. I give it three layers for more opacity and then I finish with some glossy varnish. I found this backpack in my stock box. I thought it was so cute so I'm gonna customize him, decorate him. We're gonna pretend that it's a uh, bag that she use in space. We have to put our imagination working but of course it have to be really cute. I'm gonna decorate it with some hearts and glitters. And I was looking to this bottle of hearts and I thought, you are perfect for the bag. I'm gonna make you an 
oxygen bottle of hearts. What a cool idea! With this uh, nail heart tape in pink color, I'm gonna give her the last details. Nail art is perfect for uh, doll customizing. It's the perfect size and you can find a lot of cute things and they are really cheap. Normally I bought them in a AliExpress or in a, in a local shop. Now it's time to put the head back to the body. Really careful, I don't want to damage the face. For the helmet I'm gonna use this Christmas ball uh, transparent. I can buy them in my local shop. You can buy them also in the craft store. I'm gonna use my Dremel. I'm gonna make three holes, two for the ponytails and one for the neck. I will decorate them with these pearls and flowers that I will attach it with a UV resin. To close the helmet, I'm going to use the same pink glitter ribbon that I use in the custom. I glue them with some super glue, just a little drop, because otherwise you're going to damage the helmet, the plastic. And I found these stickers with the same colors that I'm going to use in the back side of the helmet. And it's time for the eyelashes. I'm using doll eyelashes. The last video I show it to you where I bought them. I finished the face with some glossy varnish in her lips and in her eyes. And of course, as usual, I was not happy with the hair. So I come back and I did it again. You always have to push yourself. Don't don't accept that it's good enough. If you can do it better, do it better. If you made a mistake, it's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. We are learning and that's what I try to do. Every doll, every customizing process is a new process. With my 3D printer, I print this moon for her. Then I'm gonna sand it with the Dremel. And I'm gonna attach it directly to the support so that she can sit on the moon or stand. I will attach it to the support with the UV resin and I will paint it in yellow with acryl paint. After it dry, I'm gonna give her a layer of the gold glitters. And I give her some silver stars for decoration. Every customizing is a journey. I'm always nervous if I'm able to build the character that I imagine for her. Because for me, she's my friend, she's someone. I love them as a part of the family. I create them, so I'm always nervous. But in the end, if you trust your heart, you will get there, believe me. And with this, our Chibi Moon is ready. I hope you like it. I think she's so cute. I love her. 
she have so sweet face and don't forget to subscribe my channel please like it leave your comments i love to hear your comments i read all of them thank you thank you for all the support that you've been giving to me and i see you in my next video bye